welcome to another angle with Tifa Hassan. How are you guys doing? It's been a minute. Hope you're good. Um, on this episode of Another Angle, we're going to be talking about something very, very interesting. I'm sure if you live in last video, you definitely would be interested in this one. We're talking open relationships. Yes, open relationships versus monogamy in today's society. Especially for all of us living in Lagos, because we all know that we all just live with each other in this Lagos. On today's episode, we've got four amazing guests with us, as per usual. We've got Fola Lagos. My name is Fola. Oboyemi Famaki. Hi, I'm Oboyemi Famaki. We've got Oli Eko. My name is Oli Biolwa, so the lover. And Kenny. Hi guys, I'm Kenny De Fagule. Are they for it? Are they against it? Do they think monogamy is still attainable in today's society? Of course, once again, I'm your host, Tifa Hassan. I will get right back into it after this short break. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Before we get into it, pick one color. Of course, as per usual, I will be sharing a couple of social media posts that prove that, you know, open relationships may just be the new thing or may just be the answer to infidelity or open relationships are like a no-no and monogamy should be what it is and how it should go, like this one. On that note guys let's get into it so what do you think about open relationship i mean you all live in lagos so what do you think about open relationship first of all everybody is involved everybody in a relationship in lagos is involved in an open relationship i know you guys think you're not but you are don't worry don't ask me that's what you're doing <laughs> No, I don't. I, I don't like. I don't like that far. Lagos is a peaceful place. I don't support it. I haven't done it yet, but I wouldn't frown against it. I I, I would never do it. Me, I would never because I would die. Boy, child, just okay. So I would actually die if my man brings it up or my woman brings it up. Oh, oh we're gone. It's very, very. It's dangerous. It's crazy. Like getting into that type of situation. I, I think there's so much pressure on people to follow the, the path of monogamy, and if you ask me. Really, I think we are not built to be monogamous. I show my coke. You call your, you know, your my dear. Where, where are you? Uh, my dear. I'm with Peruzi. What is it? You are with who? Peru who? Ah, uh, my dear, please, please, please. It is well. It's it will make my heart the beat now. Nah, I can't do that. I think it's just a lot of unnecessary pressure and I'm mostly for on on men because men um, sort of like approach sex differently than women. I personally think it's a good thing if you want to be adventurous or you want to like explore a few things. If you are okay with it though, I did not say you should go and do it too. It's an, an unnecessary pressure on, society, on, on men from society. I think Nigerians or Lagosians were deceiving ourselves. We are never, we are not monogamous in nature. And most of you cheat. You just do it behind your partner's back. So just do it in front and just get it over with. It's fine if you guys do it, though, but it could never be me. I actually like that Fala agrees with me that most of us in Lagos are in an open relationship. It's just informal. It's just an informal relationship. You know, if you're saying, oh, I'm in an open relationship, it means that you and your partner have agreed to be in an open relationship, not backyard open relationship that most people in Lagos are doing. And yes, um, I don't know about Kenny Day's you know, standpoint to where he said that there's a lot of pressure on men, especially to be in a monogamous relationship. I don't know about that one. But trust, only echo is coming from the jealous standpoint, which is true enough. I mean, if you're a jealous person, there's no way you can be in an open relationship. But this begets another question. There has been this saying for a while now that men are polygamous in nature. Guys, do you think polygamy is gender specific or polygamy is a two-way street? I actually feel women are more polygamous than men. 
Yeah. I do not think that um, polygamy is gender specific. I think it's, it's I think it's an animal thing. Women hate when men say this, but men are not monogamous. Any man that says he is the same is trying to pander to the feminists and all that good stuff. Men, Nigerian men, are not monogamous by nature. Both men and women, we are both polygamous in nature. I am monogamous, shall Deep down. You want to be with like 10 bad bitches but stress, money and she just stick to one woman. It's like a wrong notion that women cannot be polygamous. Anybody can be polygamous. Um, a lot of people are, even though they are not willing to admit it. But like society will tell you that it's okay to, for men to have multiple sex partners and it's not for women. Women do it better because women are these things better. Men are just so out there with their own nonsense and saying that they do these things. Women on that G, we are your OGs. You guys are learning work. You don't know anything, but I will not tell you our secrets. Yeah. Can you guys see how Okwe said the exact same thing? Men, Nigerian men are polygamous in nature. Please explain it to me and make it make sense to me because. I don't know. Is that when they are bursting people from the womb? They already start polygamy on your on your on your head forehead. That you probably have to be polygamous in nature. And why is it just Nigerian men? So if you were born in Yankee, you probably wouldn't be polygamous in nature. Societal conditioning, if you ask me. And for la, hmm, I don't know that one. That women, women do worse than men. I don't know. I don't know. But you guys, you heard it from Fola. Fola said women are worse than men. I don't know about that one. I don't know. But you guys, do you think that genuine monogamy is still attainable in today's society? I mean, with everything going on, and uh, like Fola said, <laughs> most of us in Lagos are in an open relationship. We don't know. Do you think that genuine monogamy, as in one man, one partner, is still attainable in today's society? In Lagos. <laughs> Lagos is a lie. If your partner is telling you that you're not sharing them, they're lying to you. Me, I'm telling you that they're lying to you. Yes, obviously the Lagos dating pool is messy, but like, I, I feel like at the end of the day, in a place of 20 million people, you can still choose to be with one person and be faithful. I will remove my glasses to answer this question. It's not attainable. In this society that we're in, the dating pool is a mess, a whole mess. Married women are doing this, married men are doing all sorts, single people, it's a cluster or whatever. So I don't think so, I don't think so. I think they are faithful people, they are just not up to three. <laughs> and that three, so I'm giving it like a very, because everybody they mad for Lagos. I can't speak for women, but I know women, most women, they attach emotions to sex, so it might be hard for them. Again, I'm not sure, but that's what the women in my life tell me, but for men, a man can sleep with a woman and have zero feelings for the woman. So that is why it is easier for a man to be polygamous and sleep around. A man can genuinely sleep with different women and love you. You will say, oh, if he loves me, you wouldn't do it. Again, I will not do it, but I'm being the devil's advocate here. It's not nice financially. And also in, you know, the aspect of um, with um, STDs, for instance, um, it's more advisable to be with just one person. One day, not today, but one day, we'll talk about the messiness of the Lagos dating pool. But you know what? Not today. Might just be in another angle, so stick around for more episodes. You know what I mean? But I do agree with Kenny. Even monogamy is expensive. Because of having multiple partners, you now be buying because I bought motor for one man and I now have to buy, buy, buy. I don't do it, no. On Valentine's Day, my whole pockets will be empty. No, I don't do it. I don't do such place, for example. Count me out. Count. You see why you should be monogamous, even if anything, the cost of things there, you should keep you in monogamy. But yes, guys, do you also think that monogamous is a selfish nature? But I like, don't you think monogamous is a selfish concept? Why can't we just? Be with whoever I want to be, as many people as I want to be. It's love that matters. Why are we, why are we boxing love? Hmm. Another angle. No, I don't think so. It's selfish? Now, I wouldn't use selfish, no. Monogam is quite selfish uh, in the sense that when people, boy meets girl, boy agrees to date girl, they start going out and become exclusive and then they want to own each other. I think it's not, I think it's not attainable. It's not selfish, though. I'm monogamous because like handling one woman, you want to do two. Like Muslim men, they are trying. 
Do you know how hard it is dating just one woman? Like the stress that both of you give each other, even though one gender gives the other gender more stress. You know, one times two, one times three of it. Now I'm good with just one woman. People should learn to be their own person first, you know, instead of now going into a relationship and trying to make that person into their own person. I think it's a very, very selfish thing because before we come into a relationship, we have our own separate lives, right? We have our friends, we have our goals, our aspirations and everything. And then you go into a relationship and you're expected to be a different person. I think it's very, very selfish. But there's the stress is inevitable. Not bad stress, just needed stress. Nobody's stressless. Men generally, me for I know for a fact that I like to flirt for sports. So like when you can't exactly you, you can't do that in monogamy, like you go to an event with your girl now, right? You're having to respect her whatever that means. I don't think picking up a chick at the bar is disrespectful. But like, <laughs> but like yeah, I think that's just me. But I just think monogamy is very, very stifling and it's going to take a whole lot of like you know, just being head over heels to not see it that way. There are principles that guide monogamy, like um, uh, you, you are committed to that person. That's like commitment. That's like the key word in, you know, monogamy, like one person, you are committed to just one person. So if you are going outside of that, that means you are breaking that rule, that principle. So what's that the What's the use of what's the kidney, 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 will shut here. Akpa has to tell me which gender is stressful. Don't say the other gender. Which gender? Use your mouth to say so that we can come for you and bite you and claw you. Say it with your mouth, say it with your full chest. But then Kenny does, well, agrees that Monogabi might be selfish and stifling. I'm sure he has his reasons, like he rightfully explained. And for Oli, I do agree with you that the idea of monogamy is commitment and contentment. So if you're not going to be in that commitment and you know, and you're not going to content your partner, then monogamy is pointless. You know, there's a concept behind it, which I completely, completely agree. But do you, don't you think that open relationships might just be the answer to infidelity? Because, I mean, why cheat if you can't tell your partner about your other partners? Again, another angle. <laughs> I think then the concept of infidelity is not is not going to be prevalent in that situation then. So I think um, that's that's a, that's a way to go about it, right? So if I'm going to see this chick and then you know about her, probably you've met her. That's not cheating, right? To be honest, the concept sounds very very delicious, but I'm a very very jealous person and. I can't be cool with someone else pounding my wife. What, what if he's bigger than me? What if he lasts longer than me? What if she likes him more than me? So, you know, on paper, it sounds nice, but I wouldn't stress. If you give the grace for open relationship in your relationship, tautology, whatever, I just think you are doing it so much or like you are deceiving yourself because I assure you, he's already cheating. Just be doing your own too. Everybody just be attacking each other, you understand? Hmm, you have open relationships could be the answer to infidelity. Um, well, these are questions I have to ask myself. I've not really thought about it. And I'm good at answering questions like this. But for now, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Because there are guidelines, there are principles to these things. Ah, Lagos, man. You probably showed this girl too much pepper. Lagos men will still cheat. You open the relationship, you close it, they will cheat. So you might as well just close it so they will cheat limitedly. But if you open it, they will now have full shoulder. They show that they will have full reason to cheat. Like at least we are not open relationship. That's the excuse that you start here. They wouldn't the idea of open relationship is to be honest with people, honest with your partner and lay your cards down. But for other things that they would even cheat more because they can say, ah, but babe now, nah, we're in an open relationship now. Nah. Come on. You get what I mean? So, according to Fala, don't do it because it's the same thing. But yes, guys, do you think there are some guidelines to follow if you're ready to be in an open relationship? Okay, so don't have sex or don't do anything without telling me first things first. I think it should be a mutual um, thingy. If I don't want you to have sex with this person, for whatever reason, don't do it. Don't do it behind my back. Don't get pregnant. Do not bring any ass to this home. Try not to catch feelings for him. Try not to. And don't lie. I feel like the reason 
we are in one is because we should be able to explore our options. So why are you lying when we can do? But then people will die if they don't if they don't lie. So you know what? You buy sleep with women. I would like that. <laughs> sleep with women. I think that would be nice. That would be nice. I don't know where do you draw the line. That's the question most people would want to ask. But I think if two people genuinely love each other and agree that look, we don't want to stifle each other, we don't want to, we don't want to own each other in a sense. I think there are very, very minimal ground rules, and that makes for a very, very interesting relationship. I, it's difficult to answer that question. It's not something that I just stay like that. Even if I'm a form hard guy, I'm all, it will still check me. I like, like you know, like that, like that warmth, you know. Again, I'm monogamous, so I don't really, I would not do this, but if I were to do it, probably she's bi and she wants to do women. It's fine, do women. Well. I also do with it. And my parents will watch no. Well, for hell no. My parents will watch. Mommy, I'm just joking no. It's for the camera. So yeah, we buy do women while I do women. And if you have fine women, we can do them together. <laughs> Very strong opinions on, you know, open relationships and monogamy. So let's just hear from our guests. What's their angle on this? What's their conclusion on open relationships versus monogamy? Uh, my name is Fola Fola Lego. So personally, I think um, no one, I don't think anybody should be involved in open relationships. It's just, I don't like the idea of sharing my partner, me. So you should, you should not do it. It's not nice. Don't do it, please. You have a headache and a take and it's not worth it at the long run. Hi, I'm Okoye Mifamakin. Don't do it. It sounds nice on paper, but in reality, it's complicated. But the crazy thing is that um, I cannot say that it's not happening behind closed doors because everybody is cheating on their partner. So maybe you should go and cheat too, Andrews. This is only a personal, like I said. It's not something I would do, but if it's fine by you or the person you're in a relationship with, I know some of my friends are in open relationships and it works for them. So it's just do whatever works for you, basically. I'm not one to impose my whatever on anybody, so. Again, I'm Kane Defagbele. Um, I think um, society should be more open to open relationships. I think it's going to foster more um, love between couples and it's going, to, it's going to create an environment where um, both parties in the relationship are comfortable around each other. Just do you, just have fun. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I mean, single monogamous relationships, they feel, they succeed. So, you know, do what works for you. All right, guys, you heard it from our four amazing guests. Very insightful opinions. Fola on her own is just against Lagos men. Obviously, that one, the other men have showed that pepe. The femmes and the GD have showed that shaggy. But Kenny is all for, you know, expressing himself like, oh, he wants to. I think Kenny just doesn't want to be caged. I, I, I think that's, that's, that's where he's coming from. And Okwe's own is, if you're going to be in an open relationship, you can, you can open it to other women. Not with other men because he doesn't want to think about the person being bigger than him or being better than him. So it's more from it. That sounds a little bit selfish, but you know what? I don't know. I don't know. And Oli Echo is just more of a committed baby. I love to see it. such a cute boy. Cutie. Oh, yes, guys, that's it on another angle for today. You can follow the conversation on social media at This Is Pop Central. And of course, follow me, your host, at DTFA underscore Hassan. I'm the one that is bringing you all this premium gist. So make sure that you follow me. Guys, stay safe, stay good to another angle. We will be back with more conversations and more content next time. Stay tuned.